I'm Jeff. And I'm Max. And I, I want to be, be like you. Today, I'm interviewing Billy. So Billy, tell us, what do you do? My name's Billy Schwer, and I'm a former world boxing champion. But what I do now is I'm an inspirational speaker and breakthrough performance specialist. When did you first know you wanted to be a boxer? My two sisters used to beat me up. So I remember when I was, when I was five, I, I remember rolling around the floor, getting beaten up by my sisters. They used to sit on me, pin me to the floor. And it's like one moment I decided that no one was ever going to beat me, dominate me, or get on top of me ever again. And that was why I became a boxer. And I started when I was eight years of age. When I turned 21, I thought, you know, let's give it a go as a professional. So my day would start at five o'clock in the morning. I'd get up and do my early morning running in the rain, the sleet, the snow. Then I'd go and work on a building site all day long. I'd come home, have something to eat, and then I'd be back in the gym in the evening. And that was my life. And then my career took off. How many belts did you win? I won the British, the Commonwealth, the European and the World Championships. I've been top of the bill in Las Vegas. I failed three times to win the world title and I won it in my fourth attempt. So I know all about persistence, courage, determination, what that takes. Tell us how what you eat affects what you do. For me, food is fuel. So if you're eating the right things, you're gonna perform, you're gonna fuel your body. So as a boxer, that was so important for me, to have the energy, to be able to keep going in the training, in the sessions, and in the boxing matches. What's your favorite vegetable? Green vegetables, I love green vegetables, I love green beans, I love broccoli. Spinach, yeah, spinach, that's, that's the number one thing. I just love the greener, the better. What vegetable do you find most disgusting? <laughs> Cauliflower. Brussels, they know Brussels, what about Brussels? That's a funny one, Brussels, I don't know about that. But I know, but I eat Brussels because I know they're good for me, because they're green. What's the most unusual thing you do to look after your health? The most unusual thing I do? Wow, what a great question. In the morning, the first thing I do, I have two pints of warm lemon water. So that's maybe a little bit unusual, but that is so important. Good hydration, Lemons are so good for you. A lemon a day keeps the grim reaper away. Check that out. Do you ever have days when you eat really badly? I do have the occasional McDonald's, I must admit that. I do have the occasional Big Mac. Yeah, I'm not perfect. I have an 80-20 rule. 80% 80 of the time is clean, good food. And 20%, I allow myself to have chips and maybe a burger. That's what I do. So that's my rule I have for myself, an 80-20 rule. So, Billy, broccoli or cheese? Oh, I do love cheese. I love cheese. Apple or chips? I love chips, but I love apples. What do I do? What do I do? I don't know how to choose. <laughs> What's your favourite exercise? I really recommend any contact sport for young people because it teaches you so many life lessons in there. Discipline, dedication, get coached. You work with other young people, you travel, you experience that. It's just, the, the, the experience is amazing. There's so many life lessons in it. Have you always exercised regularly? I started boxing when I was eight years of age, so I was always training, I was always exercising. I wish I'd have done more stretching. I wish I'd have done more gymnastics, more yoga, more flexibility. That would, I, I would have definitely done more of that. If you had to be a ballerina, or an ice skater, what would you be? Ballerina. They are amazing. Ballerinas are incredible. They're beautiful. They are so strong, flexible. They're incredible athletes. I love to watch them. I love to watch dancers. They're amazing. Is your mum proud of you? I think she is, yeah. You'd have to ask my mum, but my parents have been amazing. I've been very fortunate to have great parents. They've been very supportive throughout my boxing career, throughout my life. I love them. They're amazing.